lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome to episode 4 of The Sims 4 Strangerville. We are picking up at 2am in the morning at the 8 Bells Bar in Strangerville with Thor Hunter, our lovely Sim that we are spending time with on this amazing adventure, which is kind of more scary than amazing if anything. But he is just snacking on some chips after having a fight with that military personnel walking out right out right now. His name is Brooks and basically we tried everything with him in the last episode to get that darned infection scanner. We flirted with him, we, we fought with him and lost, we tried convincing him, that's all in the wrong order, but still, we tried all these things, and in the end we had to bribe him like 750 simoleons to get the flippin' scanner off him. So, um, Thor's not really having a great day to be honest, he's a little bit dazed, but he's just gonna have some chips, go back home, get a good night's sleep, and then he needs to start getting on that infection scanning. And now he doesn't have a good relationship. He's already made like an enemy. They despise each other, I'm fairly sure. Look at that. You're not supposed to be despised by a military personnel, you idiot. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, he is dazed from getting beaten up. I mean, figures. I think he... So he tried to impress the military personnel with his fitness, which he has none, right? He's got, like, one fitness. And uh, the military personnel wasn't impressed. So then he tried seducing him. But the military personnel wasn't into him. And then he tried fighting with him. And he ended up getting his backside handed to him. Which kind of sucked. And uh, then we just lost some money. Which also sucks. And I'm just realizing very quickly. Yes, we haven't had to go into the military career for money purposes yet. We might need to in the future. But for story-wise, it would make sense if we're actually doing it undercover rather than for money per se. But at this stage, we're actually pretty okay. We don't absolutely need to. The funds that our family gave us, so the funds that Thor's family gave him to figure this mystery out is actually getting him by quite well. If need be, he can craft sculptures and do something, but on, on all honesty, he'll probably go undercover in the military career if he absolutely has to um, get money as well. Because one, you're undercover, you're gathering intel on them without them knowing, you know? And two, you're getting paid for it. So, of course, he's going to do that if push comes to shove. But for now, we're pretty okay. What I think we have to do next... Come on, you can go to sleep. Get a good night's sleep, boy. Good night's sleep. Okay. And um, what we can... Did he want to sleep? I don't know, but we got some whim done. Uh, we actually need to go ahead and collect 15 spore clusters. Which is kind of scary, in all honesty. I'm really tempted to just go up to these fruits and... Like, what, do you nurture them, you taunt them, and then they infect you? See, I don't want to do anything that's going to get Thor infected, and he's angry again. Probably from what happened last night. He probably cooled down, because he was too tired to feel angry last night. Ah, probably feels embarrassed too, don't you? Well, as he likes doing on most mornings, let's take an angry poop. <laughs> and then... Uh, take a nice shower, cold shower actually, to chill yourself down. As we've said multiple times, meditation is the key. And no, he doesn't meditate, but clear mind. You need to distill your mind, okay? You can't go into the field being all rash and stuff. That's going to get you rashes and nothing else. So um, when once he's done with that, we're just going to grab something quickly out of a fridge. He doesn't cook at all because he doesn't have time to cook, people. He doesn't have time to cook. What does he want? He's going to have some um, apple sauce uh, or animal crackers. Let's get some animal crackers. He's going to have some animal crackers and uh, then he's going to get going. And I wonder how this thing works. Do you just go anywhere and use it? Oh, so you just go up anywhere and you just start scanning the area. You know what? He's going to start straight from his front yard, his porch. He's going to start straight from his porch, start scanning the area for spores and... Um, Maybe going around to these things. Like, I really, really, really want to... I feel like, you know, we could maybe harvest these and start selling them. But I'm scared if I touch them, something bad's going to happen to Thor. So I really don't want him to get infected. Now, is there any other things we can get? There's a bunch of rocks around the place which might work. And actually, since we're home, we had a barrel that he kind of stole in the last episode. So, you know, his klepto tra trait... He swiped this containment barrel. So it says, For all your creature containment needs, made from almost unbreakable materials, this barrel will help contain the meanest of creatures. Warning, contents vary and they may or may not bite. What the, what the hell is in this? What are they containing in this barrel? So we said, it's 50 simoleons. 
we could one keep this or two see i don't want to keep that thing because look at what he has it has that creature thing on it so it's got the spores i don't want to deal with them uh what we said was for money purposes he is actually gonna sell these but uh, maybe not yet, maybe just not yet. Maybe he should keep this with himself. Probably, where would he keep this? Probably out back over here? Or would he keep it this way? I think maybe he'll keep it in this direction just because it's just hidden away from things and away from town. Oh look, look who came to visit us. Another, another one of those infected folk. Okay, well, it's a good thing we have a gate, and now I actually get why we have a gate. Is it locked? We need to check if it's locked. Like, now I get why we have a, a, a gate at a trailer park, because these things keep walking around. But, um, he's gonna leave the barrel here. You know what, we could even put it in this side, because it is actually hidden by... Yeah, we'll pop it there, because it's hidden by this little trailer next to us, so it should be okay. Oh, this is terrifying. Can I just lock it? Is she coming towards us? Well, we're locking for everyone but Thor, thank you very much. So try as you might, you are not going to get into the house. Sorry, honey, you ain't getting in. Look at her. This is psychotic. Jeez, okay. Well, we haven't interacted with one of these things yet, and I really don't want to. Um, isn't that all the military personnel? I mean, some of the townspeople. I don't know if we've seen a scientist go through that just yet. But at some stage, we're, oh my goodness, what the hell? It's in our shower. It's in the shower. What? It came up through the plumbing. Oh my goodness, there is no escape. What is this crap? It came up through the plumbing. Ew, how do we get rid of it? Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. And I thought we were safe in the house. Imagine if that thing comes up the toilet. What are we going to do then? It's going to crawl up your, crawl up your crack. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, it looks as though before we get scanning done, and the spores are in the flipping house now. Jeez. It's... Look at it. Is it in... It's not in... Oh, it is in this room. It's everywhere. There is no escaping the spores. Oh my goodness. Okay, hurry up. Each animal crack. <laughs> He's so tense. Yeah, no, sh no crap, you're tense. Okay. Uh, botanophobia. What is going on here? These plants are getting out of control. Okay, from plants and plumbing. Right, so... He's just in the bathroom eating his animal crackers, pondering this vine that has erupted from the, the pipes. Oh jeez, or oh, from the drain more like, erupted from the drain. And this is after he's taken a shower too. Like, that is creepy as. Creepy as. Imagine if that thing was crawling up while he was in the shower. Huh. <sighs> okay. Well, once it's done, he needs to clear out those vines. Uh, to feel a little bit more safer. And then he can start collecting spores. Like, jeez, he was not prepped for this. But then again, no one in his family ever is prepped when they go out to these things. And I personally would not feel comfortable getting into that thing with those vines. What if it's like... Uh, not cannibalistic, but carnivorous. What if it eats us? What then? What shall we do? I mean, it can't exactly drag us down anywhere, so I'm not worried about that. Like, what's going to fit in the drain? Our foot? Probably not. But still... Oh, jeez. That's creepy. That is creepy. Oh, it's moving! That was moving! Ah! Ah, that's creepy! It just went down the drain! It got, like, vacuumed down the drain. Ah, what did you spray on it? What did you spray? Okay, clean this up. We don't have a sink, I just realized, but that's okay. We use the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom sink. Um, we need funds for other important things. So, let's, did I not put a sink in? Well, I'm an idiot. Maybe I foresaw that we weren't going to be cooking or anything. I don't know. Maybe. Well, he's still tense. It's going to be tense for another two hours. But let's come out here and scan area. Oh, okay. So, we don't have to get the scan out. We can just scan the area. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see how this works. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so fascinating. I love that. That looks awesome. Okay. He's scanning the area with uh, that personnel, Kari. I'm pretty sure we've spoken to her before. Maybe she's... Actually, isn't she a scientist? Yeah, she's a scientist. Okay. Well, did we find anything? Uh, did we find anything? 
I don't know. What's this? Scan 15. Wait, how do we collect spool clusters though? Oh, do we have to scan in an appropriate area and then collect the spore clusters? So if we go near this... I'm so scared. These things are walking around everywhere. Like, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, we might have to just take a chance. Should we go here and scan the area right next to this spore cluster? And I don't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if they attack you, what can happen, the effects, those sort of things. Hopefully, they don't have uh, a good good perception of the surroundings and she just ignores us and keeps walking. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, we're gonna try again over here and see if the scanner works. And what's that? Ooh, it's one of those, it's one of those vans. I don't know what this van's all about. Ooh, oh, it's moving! It's, hey, it's it moved! The van moved! The van moved! Okay. Well, it was parked and everything. Did you find anything? Um, well, I don't know if he, like, what? So where do we go to do the, the, where do we get spores from? How do we get the spores? I'm confused. Find an infection scanner, questioning military bar. Okay, um, scan the ground to reveal spore clusters. Oh! Are these, collect the, the, the thing about Jiggy. I get it now, I get it. Okay, so it's spore clusters on the ground. I really don't know if you should be having that in the ground, but uh, let's dig this up so that in the future we we have that too. <laughs> we have that to sell and stuff. Um, and we did say the barrel that he's got, he was gonna sell it to, uh, you know, in, on the down low, but he was gonna sell it to some a, a scientist, a trusted scientist that um, is gonna basically experiment on this and see what's going on. Basically someone Who's buying stolen goods from him for, for the good of the greater, you know, community. For the good of the community. To do some research. Research material. Because obviously the lab isn't going to give those things out. So it needs to be stolen. And then it needs to be... Oh, look at that. Is that a gecko? What? Oh, it disappeared. It was a little, like, lizard. It disappeared. Okay, well, uh, there was no spore clusters around here. Let's try this direction. Battery power low. So how do we know if it's got a higher concentration of spore clusters? Is it literally where we see the spores? I mean, that kind of makes sense, but I would assume there's a lot of spores near the plants themselves. Okay, so it looks as though this is going to be something that takes time and takes effort, right? So this thing needs to recharge, which I wasn't aware of. Um, number of scans before recharge, three. So how do we recharge it? Okay, well, I guess it's going to recharge itself. Is there anything else we can walk, uh, what am I saying, walk? I mean, work towards. Find a hazmat suit and a spore filter, then combine them in your inventory. Question about spore scientists at the local library and curious shop room to get more information. How do we get a hazmat suit? I don't know. What about we come here? Secret inventory? Huh. Oh. So we need... Right, right. I see, I see. Okay. So it seems as though, guys, wants to collect a new frog. So it seems as though we really need to get this scanning. Oh, we can scan again. Um, well, where's uh, another pile of spores? No spores there. We've got a few spores over here. Let's see, let's see. So it says a uh, high spore area or a uh, high concentration of spores. So what about here? In this area? I see spores. Oh, what about here? I see spores in the area, but not necessarily on the ground. But okay, let's go here just because I see spores floating around. So maybe we have a better chance of actually getting some clusters. And oh, look at this! It's a lizard! It's a lizard! It would be cool if we could collect these sort of things, but uh, no, we can't. We can't collect them. Okay, so we're going to try our luck here. I wonder if every time you do this, you only find spore clusters, like one spore cluster per area. So if I have to do this 15 times, or if it's actually, like you find a couple or one, depending on how many you do. So let's, this, this trail looks really cute, by the way. It's really cute. Oh, we can actually sit here. So we can't go into this place, but we can actually sit here. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's nice. We could totally have a meeting with someone over here. Okay, well, there's war, there's war, there's one spore cluster. So let's grab this and uh, try over here, maybe. 
nope, okay, so it takes time to recharge. So this is going to take me a little bit to do, huh? And I probably don't have, yeah, so all of this is like in the line, so something that happens one after the other, so I can't really work on anything while I'm waiting for that. Why don't we then experiment with this thing? I really don't want to, but at the same time, let's go nurture it and see what the hell it does. Actually, not that one. Let's go to, let's go to, what's a, what's an, what's a, what's an interesting one? Let's go to this one. We'll go to this one and let's nurture it just to see what it does. If it yields fruit without infecting us, then I want to see whether or not it will go ahead, like we can sell it or so I'll do something with it. Now, I don't know if that, like you get infected from dealing with the actual, like these things, the plants, or um, you get infected by eating the fruits from the plants. So I, I don't really know. So he's nurturing it. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, what the hell happened? It erupted, it erupted. So there's not a billion fruits, there's actually just the one fruit. Huh. So it, there's literally just the one fruit. Holy flippin' cow. Do you guys see this? Do you see this? I don't even know how to, what to, what to say, like what? Okay, what about, can we, can we scan over here? Is that going to show uh, something if we scan here? Because literally, we just harvested this thing. Did you see the amount of flipping spores that flew up into the air? Let's see if that's going to yield anything. Um, it didn't, surprisingly. It didn't. But this thing looks really cool and terrifying at the same time. So, okay. Well, let's harvest this. Um, we can take a microscopic sample. Why not? We're going to take a sample, we're going to take a picture of the plant, we're going to go ahead and um, harvest the fruit. I don't want to taunt the plant because I don't know what the hell's going to happen if we do that. Um, we already, oh jeez, we already saw the vines and stuff. Um, ah, that is so scary. That is so scary. Okay, well we have the fruit. It, it doesn't cost much, to be honest. It only costs, okay, some living spoil, yep, it only costs... Um, whatchamacallit, like two simoleons, so it's really not worth anything. Hmm. But it's an interesting experiment, if any. So that's quite curious. Huh. Very, very curious. Okay. Um, is there any other place we can go to to get more spores? Spores? Where'd you go, spores? Come on, spores. Work with me, will ya? Okay. There's no spores here. Maybe we need to cross the street? Huh. Maybe we need to go to a different part, uh, part of town to find these spores. This is flippin' terrifying. What about back here? There's a lot of weird people walking around. A lot of weirdos walking around. What if there's spores? Look, there's like stuff in someone's yard. Oh, jeez. Well, nothing here. This is gonna take us a solid minute, guys. What about the center of town? We haven't been to the center of town in a bit. Okay, um, see, because the things are, like, so high up in the air, I don't know if it, like, has to be down on the ground at that level or what. So, I'm, I'm, like, a little bit confused. A little bit confused. Like, if I see spores in the air, does that mean there's spores in the area or does it have to be closer to the ground? Huh. See, that's what I'm confused about, to be quite honest with you. I'm quite confused about that. Well, maybe we should go to the neighbors and check out if uh, they've got any... Oh, look at this! This plus is also yielding. Like, what? Why is it yielding? Why is it yielding? Well, there's a lot of spores over here, but we can't scan. Hmm. Well, let's uh, harvest the fruit then, at least. We're doing something, you know? We're gonna harvest this, the fruit. Hopefully the scan is good by then and we can scan that area as well. But I guess I know what I have to work on now. I have to make sure that I'm constantly scanning and we're ready for um, the, all the, like the 15 spores. Okay, can we scan straight away? Scan. Scan. Look at all those spores. Let's get those spores. Grab them. Grab them. 
Are there any clusters? Any clusters? Nope, no clusters, which kind of sucks. So this is going to be hard work, guys. Okay, well, with that said and done, I'm going to go off and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.